everybody have not done a coffee in the crockers driving in a while uh, driving town got to get a uh, a lot of feed for the animals I have my camera in case I uh, feel like filming and then uh, might take you all along I don't know yet um, I do like the daily vlog stuff but I also like how we worked on the tiny house well the shed to house ceiling did it over the weekend and then we just put like three days worth of footage together and did a video. I don't know, I go back and forth. Uh, I'm very curious what you guys would prefer. A video like that where we just show work and uh, you get them every now and again. Or daily vlog, maybe Monday through Friday, something like that, five, six days a week. Uh, you guys let me know. Um, I, I, I definitely like both. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to uh, sway y'all one way or the other. Um, I do enjoy daily vlogging because it keeps me moving, it keeps me motivated to uh, to get you know at the end of the day edit and all that stuff or edit throughout the day as I'm going and upload. Uh, I feel like I could do a little more of the skits and whatnot with that, and it makes sense rather than building and then in the middle of building there's a random skit. But, at the same time, if I'm building for like three days and throw it in the video and uh, put it together, I don't have to edit every night and all that. So, definitely pros and cons of, of each. And, uh, I don't really care. Uh, you know, if you daily vlog, your views are going to be lower because I don't have time to marinate and get more views. But, honestly, I don't really care. Uh, I, I just want to have fun with it. Um... It's, I don't know, I guess it's kind of funny. This is something for you YouTube channels out there to think about. You can either daily vlog and your chances of your views are gonna, probably going to be lower because you're daily vlogging. But you're in front of somebody a lot more and they get to know you a lot more. They get to see you daily. Or you put a video out and you let it marinate for three days or so and it'll collect more views over the days. You do less videos, you just got to try to put more work into the videos. I don't know. It's a thing a YouTuber's got to think about. But, uh, <clears throat> I have a battery charger. We have, uh, a full runner, which I'm sure some of y'all probably don't even know we have. We have a 1996, maybe, uh, or 92, I don't remember, a full runner. We bought it months ago, and, uh, it's a project we're going to work on that we build off the inside, go camping. Uh, in and uh, it it's it's something that we can build that on the inside and just go and we don't have to worry about taking that or anything and then clearly Danielle has her forerunner and then at the truck uh, I've been looking for a new truck I don't want to buy brand new I don't I don't I'm not the type of guy that needs a brand new truck um, I use and abuse my vehicles uh, it's for me it's for work so I'm gonna be throwing stuff in the back, I'm going to be throwing stuff in here, I'm going to be hauling stuff, it might get scratched, it might get dented up, so I'm not looking to buy a brand new truck, but, dang, buying a used vehicle th these days is insane, it's crazy, uh, the reason I'm in the market, if you're asking, this truck drives good, but let's see, how do I reset this? It has 210,000 miles on it, so I don't know how long this puppy's going to last. Uh, I, I have definitely used and abused this truck, and over 200,000 miles, it still runs great and everything, but it does have, have its flaws, like my window don't roll down, the back door don't open on this side, uh, the uh, radio works when it wants to work, uh, I mean, there's just a lot of little things here and there that would be comfort to go somewhere and be able to roll my window down. I can get it fixed, but it's one of those, do you start pumping money into a vehicle that you're probably not gonna keep forever. So, but the thing is, is holy cow, used vehicles are freaking crazy. Um, they are just as expensive as a brand new vehicle. And we, we found this out a while back. We were, uh, you know, in the market, we were buying a, a vehicle for Danielle, and uh, 
we ended up getting brand new because we got it for basically the same deal as a used one. So I was like, I'll just get on Facebook Market and find a private seller instead of a dealer and, you know, help get a vehicle off their hands and then, uh, and then I can hopefully get a good deal on it and stuff. Now, everyone out there, they're like, perfect running vehicle, well maintained, this and that. And you look, it's got 300,000 miles on it. The seats are all ripped up, got dents and dings everywhere. And they want freaking $20,000 for it. It's crazy. This is wild. We live in a very wild time right now. There is no reason why used vehicles or anything used should cost a lot. It just became crazy during the weird part of the time. I won't say it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Two year period that uh, everything got jacked up and then no one wanted the prices to come down. Well, everyone complains about prices, but when they try to sell something, they sell it for a premium. It's crazy. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, uh, but I do know um, I am headed to the house in town. Uh, some people may not even know we have a house in town. It's uh, an hour away, and uh, that's where Danielle stays whenever she uh, goes to work being a nurse. But I have some uh, to-dos there that need to uh, get taken care of. I have some packages I need to pick up from there. Uh, on the way back, we have some places we need to stop. So, unfortunately, not going to get as much done today as I would like. But we're going to get a lot done today, if that makes sense. Um, I'm talking to you guys, and now I'm questioning if I passed my uh, my place to turn, but I think we're still good. Uh, but uh, it's one of those things where you just run errands all day. By the time you get back, you are dead tired. I don't know what it is about running errands and stuff, but it just makes you dead tired. Um, that is one good thing about if I were to daily vlog. I would just show what I'm getting into for the day. What am I doing? Today I'm doing all this stuff that I'm talking about. And I would show in the daily vlog. Is it interesting enough to show? I think some people would watch, but others would say, get back to building. Um, but the thing is, if I'm only building, then I'm not gonna show any of this so that I'm already a day behind the building because I had to run errands and do a bunch of things. That's the life of a YouTuber. And on that, um, I created a page on Facebook and it's the Crocker's YouTube Secrets. And I want to start helping YouTube channels out more and give tips and tricks and put it on there. And uh, that way it could all be about YouTube and it's not being overrun on the family page. Uh, I don't post as often on the family page as I used to, but it kind of became a place where People kind of spam their own YouTube channels. They kind of spam their own stuff. They some some are politics, some are whatever, and which is cool. We created the page years ago, so uh, you guys can get to know each other and post or whatever. But it, it's become a thing where if I would like to post something, it it kind of gets buried down. And if it's a normal thing, I want to post whatever. But if it's something like okay, how do we help? YouTube channels grow? How do we help a business grow? How do we help do this? It's going to get bogged down. So I just created the uh, uh, The Crocker's YouTube Secrets and you can look that up on Facebook to pop up. I put it in the family group. Uh, if you guys are a YouTube channel and want to grow, uh, get in there and uh, I'm going to start teaching little tips and tricks that I've learned over the years and I'm not a professional. I don't know everything but I do know what works and what doesn't work for myself and I've helped other channels in the past and it's helped them out turning here real quick that 18 wheeler right behind me uh, so if you guys are interested go check that out um, but I don't have a ton to talk about right now just because I am driving to town I do need to focus on the road I like to listen to a podcast or my music on the way and so I'm gonna keep this fairly short I did get up a little later than I wanted so this is going to come out a little later and then I had to feed the animals do all that type of stuff and now I'm headed to town so hopefully you guys have a great day but please let me know do you prefer daily vlogs of just kind of whatever I'm getting into on another note everybody is freaking selling their house in this town everybody it's crazy we moved here and everybody's moving away I don't know if it's just because times got hard they can't afford their mortgages 
or they're just going somewhere else. But every house around here is for sale. Um, but uh, please let me know, would you rather see the daily vlogs more often? It's just going to be less work and just more of whatever I'm getting into or videos every three days-ish and it's just working less less of the daily so let me know i'm cool either way uh with it uh, i just kind of want to give you guys what you guys want and uh um, yeah we'll go from there so i got a long busy day ahead of me hopefully you guys have a great day and we'll uh catch you on the next one peace